of song and still they'll seem so few for I need a thousand voices to tell you how I love you I've only one heart to give you one voice to listen to so I'll bring a thousand love songs and I'll sing Everyone did for you. The decade of the 1930s has been called the golden age of the British dance band. Leaders such as Bert Ambrose, Lou Stone, Roy Fox, Henry Hall, Harry Roy, Jack Hilton, Jack Payne became nationally famous through their innumerable broadcasts and recordings. And not only the bands, but the vocalists who sang with the dance bands also found national fame and none more so than the man who was born in Derby on the 1st of November, 1913. He was christened Ronald Dennis Pountain, but by the time he was 20 years of age, he had acquired his professional name of Denny Dennis. I wished on the moon For something I never knew Wished on the moon for more than I ever knew A sweeter role Starting out as a drummer vocalist with bands in his native Derby, he eventually gravitated towards London. And after making records with the Jack Jackson Orchestra, he passed an audition to become featured vocalist with the Roy Fox Orchestra, with whom he stayed for many years, making many, many recordings, innumerable broadcasts, and of course personal appearances. For a while, he was with the Burt Ambrose Orchestra, having to turn down an offer to join the American band leader Paul Whiteman's orchestra because of the war which was looming in Europe. He joined the RAF, stationed in Bristol, where he made many broadcasts with the Skyrockets Orchestra and also the likes of Stanley Black. In 1948, Denny got the biggest break of his career so far, a chance to follow in the footsteps of Frank Sinatra and Dick Hames by becoming the vocalist with the famous Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. And so for two years, he toured the United States of America as part of that most famous aggregation. Matrimonial troubles meant that he had to leave the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra and return to Britain, where he topped the bill at all the major theatres up and down the country. In the 1950s, the changing fashion of popular music meant that Denny's style was suddenly regarded as rather old-fashioned, in fact, passé. So he gradually faded from the music scene and took up various alternative occupations, ending up as the licensee of a public house in Broughton in Furness, where he would delight the patrons by impromptu renditions of his past hits. It was whilst he was living in retirement in nearby Kirby in Furness that I met Denny Dennis on several occasions. He was a very affable man and only too ready to talk about himself and his career. So much so, in fact, that I asked him if it would be possible to set up a cine camera and interview him talking about his life. He said he would be only too pleased. So, one afternoon in the summer of 1983, I set up the cine camera in the garden of his bungalow home. And this is the film that I made on that day. <laughs> 